There's a dev update? Really? Hello everyone, my name is Miranda. I'm a narrative designer on the Overwatch team. And my name is Jeff, I'm the lead hero designer on the Overwatch team. Uh, and we're here to talk to you a bit about our new hero, Sojourn. Sojourn, engaging. She's our newest DPS hero, uh, and I figure I can kick us off by talking a little bit about her story. Sojourn is a hero who is obviously no stranger to combat. Oh, the she got her now. start in the Canadian military, and eventually was so successful there cam? that she... What about the cam? Oh. Oh, my bad. It's not really many other places to put it, but... She joined up with Overwatch. Fans will probably remember Sojourn from the Archive's Storm Rising mission where she led a bunch of our heroes through. Target in sight, Captain! We've waited a long time for Maximilian to show his face. She is a captain in Overwatch who is very much respected by a lot of heroes in our cast. But something people might not know about Sojourn is that she actually had a pretty big role to play during the United Nations hearings that would eventually lead to Overwatch disbanding and being shut down. And after that happened, Sojourn eventually retired to her home in Toronto. As we know, Overwatch heroes and retirement don't necessarily agree with one another, so I'm very excited for everybody to learn a little bit about what she's been up to in the time after that. We have a cinematic in development that I think people are really going to love that goes into this a bit Ooh. more. Sojourn is just a, a brilliant tactician, a great leader, and I, I can't wait for everybody to get the chance to meet her. Jeff, why don't you tell us a little bit about her hero kit? Sure. So we start working on the hero, we sort of have to pick a, a an element to sort of surround the hero with. In the past, we've had some heroes rally around a weapon, especially in the early days, such as Widowmaker, you know, Sniper, uh, Farah with a rocket launcher, etc. So we really were looking at different weapon types we haven't explored yet in Overwatch, and I think the, the number one uh, idea that came up that we all loved was this idea of a railgun. Railgun powered and ready to fire. That was pretty much all that needed to be said. So try putting the typical railgun from other games in and just see how it goes. Wait! Oh my god, wait, Zoe, wait, 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 wait. So what is this? That This is a UI. Said so try putting the typical So wait a minute. Look at this. Hold on. Are you guys seeing this? In the middle? Look at this charger. This looks like the charge up. Said so. So this builds up, so I guess during her ultimate, so that's the thing that builds up, is this right here. And then look at it, you can tell, like, that's definitely her slide, slide, grenade, uh, railgun, right? Try putting the typical railgun from other games in and just see how it goes. And it turns out oh my the, God, the accuracy. really Please. accurate, Ooh. high power shots this? that just Who's, constantly, all this? the time, was kind of just a balance <laughs> not really doable. But we really like the gameplay and we ended up with her gun as it is now, which I'll, I'll go through her whole kit here right now. Her primary fire is actually like a, a rapid fire spread of projectiles. It isn't a railgun, but it builds up an energy bar that you can expend at any time to shoot your, a railgun shot off of your alternate fire. So you three. still get that really powerful shot, but just not quite as frequently as uh, a normal railgun. Once we got that in place, we, you know, playing around with a lot of different uh, other abilities that she could have that could complement this and what could make her really fun. And we were trying to capture sort of uh, the really fun and fast play style of railguns in the past um, and other first person shooters. So um, one of the ability we tried pretty early and actually just stuck with all the way through was um, her slide ability um, and the way that works is she could just slide anytime she wants any direction she wants um, and it goes really far and really fast and she can fire during all this so you get these really cool moments where you slide around a corner and try to finish somebody off or get that railgun shot off after you've built up the whole meter um, also attached to this you can jump during this slide and get like a super big jump off of it too so in a lot of ways you can get a lot of like vertical mobility out of this and jump on top of rooftops or over a That's wall slick. pretty quickly on plate tests we got a lot of really cool like high flying shots you know jumping <laughs> over a wall and surprising people with her full railgun charge and everything um, so th that really helps her get like, this really fast gameplay style um, and then her secondary ability is called disruptor shot this is a projectile that fires out and expands into sort of an energy field that can slow enemies that are caught in it uh, and does damage to them if they stay inside of it. It's a really fun combination, especially because of that slow. Um, you know, if you slide around a corner and drop a disruptor shot on people and they're trying to scatter and get away, but they're slowed, it makes it a lot easier to line up those really powerful railgun shots. Or a lot of times we'll see people do, like land a really good shot, and then the person will get away with a little bit of health and they'll be around the corner and you like fire the disruptor shot around the corner and it kind of explodes around and takes them out. So there's a lot of really fun co combinations with all of these the She definitely looks OP. Okay. Create really fun moments. And then our ultimate, is, you know, we were setting our ultimate, we had a couple different things we tried in the past. Um, one of the original ones we tried was this big <laughs> railgun shot that just oh went through the whole map. It was like an instant 
uh, Hanzo Dragon Ultimate, yes. <laughs> which was, uh, it didn't go over super well. So that, that one got, ended up getting cut. But um, what we ended up going with was, when we call it Overclock, we all kind of fell in love with this. And the way this works is it kind of just turns on a mode where her energy is just constantly filling itself for her railgun. So she no longer has to fire their primary fire to fill it up. So she can actually just kind of fire a ton of railgun shots back to back to back for at least this limited window. Even though earlier I said it, you know, it was pretty overpowered just to be able to shoot a railgun all the time. Well, I mean, this, for that limited amount of time, she gets to do it. So I think what we've seen in playtests is like, she just takes a little bit of time to get used to, I think, the ebb and flow of when you should use your railgun shot and when you're not. But man, she's a ton of fun. When you see it. Yeah, absolutely. Something that I think is really interesting about Sojourn's abilities is that all of them are sort of derived from her cybernetics. Um, she kind of reminds me a lot of Genji, who that is just similarly got rolled. a very cybernetics-based hero. Sojourn has had, um, you know, a ton of her body replaced with these cybernetic parts, um, both out of necessity at certain points in her life, but also in some cases out of her own interests, which like, I imagine the rocket legs are probably something she thought were pretty fun. Uh, so, <laughs> and I agree, but um, I think that it's really cool, not only from a story perspective, but from her gameplay, because so many of her abilities actually come from within her, like her disruptor shot, her power slide, obviously. Even her overclock is is a function of her cybernetics, and I think that's very exciting. So. <laughs> yeah, that actually reminds me um, when we were first coming up with uh, what her kind of visual look would be. And I remember one of these meetings, we were talking about her disruptor shot, how that was going to come out. You know, there were a lot of ideas about. Um, should it, you know, be a throne, or should it be something that comes out of her wrist or something, kind of like Farah's concussive rocket? Um, but I remember we were in this meeting looking at all these ideas uh, from an, an the animation pit, and uh, there was kind of like a, a last one. It was like, eh, we did all that. Here's some crazy stuff. We have these crazy ideas, too. And it was like, you know, the first one was I like, even, I didn't even know what was going on. Crazy old things. Dude, 50 fucking gifties. Dude, you're insane. What the shit? Yo, thank you, Jack. Can we, can we spam it up for crazy? I want to finish this, but can we spam it up for crazy with the 50 gifties? What the fucking shit, dude? You're crazy. Yo, much love, man. Well, arm, thank like, thank you so much. Comes out ever, like, you. Yeah, Jack, you're going to make sure you say thank you. I was like, oh, my. <laughs> wow. Like, oh. Yeah, so that that was, uh, you, it actually sort of, like, wowed Happy everybody. Birthday. Much love, okay, man. We're doing that. Yeah. That's great. I don't want to see the other ones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so that was thank fantastic. And, uh, you know, we've gotten some uh, play on her already in the alpha, and the feedback has been fantastic. And once we get the beta rolling, which is coming up pretty soon, I think we're going to get you know, this many more people in there and get a lot more eyes on it, and I think you guys are really going to love her. Yeah, I think it's really cool to see people actually getting their hands on her because, like, it, it's it's one thing for all of us to play it, but it's another thing entirely for uh, a, a broader audience to play. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for people to get a chance to play her. Um, I, I'm really excited as well to see um, how she sort of relates uh, and fits in with the, the larger cast of heroes in Overwatch. Um, the amount of established relationships that we get a little bit of insight into. Um, she is somebody who kind of reminds me of Anna. So Anna obviously was our first new hero. And even though she was a new hero, she had so many relationships existing with our hero roster that she felt very natural. And I think Sojourn's pretty similar. Um, obviously, she was a member of Overwatch, so she has a lot of connections there that she plays on uh, all through her, her kit and her voice lines. Um, and I think people are going to have a ton of fun digging into her connections, who she is familiar with, who she's uh, against. Uh, and I think it'll be really interesting for people to get a taste of her personality there. And I think something else that I know the rest of the team is very excited about is uh, always adding new voice to Overwatch. Uh, I think it's really cool and, and really awesome to expand our horizons in terms of what our uh, perspectives are and, and the, the number of people we're representing in our game. So I, I really think that this is something the team has been hoping for for a very long time, uh, and, and I'm really excited for everybody to get to meet her. So that about wraps it up for Sojourn. We can't wait for you all to play her. See you next time. Back up here for a sec. This looks kind of lit, though. Also, you can't see the bottom left, so let me show you that really quick. This looks kind of lit. I don't know where people keep getting this whole soldier thing from. Like, how do people think this looks like soldier's gun? Like, are you, do you, are you guys have fucking eyeballs? Like, how the fuck does this look like soldier's gun? Like, in any way, shape, or form. How the fuck does this look like a sub Are you guys blind? It's it literally shoots projectiles, not hit scan. Kind of just a balance knife. You literally see the projectiles. It's a projectile based left click. 
see how it goes and and then the Turns right click the is, a, is a hit scan. Really accurate, high powered shot. Gun doesn't look the same. It doesn't behave uh, the so same. Just constantly, all the time was kind of just. The ammo isn't even the same. Like nightmare, <laughs> not really doable. It's because of the gun. Well, because it because it's a like it's a gun. But we really like the gameplay. Are, are you are y'all serious? Her gun as it is now, which I'll I'll go through her whole kit here right now. Her primary fire is actually. Nah, nah, y'all, y'all are literally crazy if you think that this looks like Soldier. That was pretty much all that needed to be said. So try putting the typical railgun from other games in and just see how it goes. And it turns out the ability to fire really accurate, high-powered shots at just constantly all the time was kind of just... Wait a minute, what was that shot? Oh my god! Well, I mean, how much HP is that, do you think? That's a pretty, that's a pretty meaty chunk. No? Fucking Galactor. Oh my god. Just constantly. Boom. All the time was kind of just a balance. Line. I think this is like, is this the first like UI look we've really seen with Sojourn? I think it is. No? Anyway, this looks sick. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is going to be great.